Happy Pioneer Day weekend, everybody out there. We've had a wonderful day yes. so far. It was 175 years ago when the pioneers first entered the Salt Lake Valley. And that historical moment is celebrated with one of the biggest parades in the country. The Days of 47 Parade is a Utah tradition. You saw it live right here on KSL. We were part of it, and our own Alex Cabrera was too, who is live downtown. Alex, what a show. Yeah, Debbie, you know, it's been a couple of years since we had what felt like a normal parade back before the pandemic. Today, it was great to see people out again, smiling, waving, cheering, celebrating Pioneer Day. It was also great to see so many kids enjoying the parade. No matter how many bands or floats or people cheering for it all made up this year's Days of 47 parade, there's only one thing. Rizzy Richards wanted to see. Is that the princesses? Yes, the princesses. I like the princesses. And seeing them, well. Why are the princesses ma wearing makeup and crowns? Because they're princesses. Oh. Kids during parades often have more questions. Where is she? Than the number of floats in a parade. Mommy, what is this for? But that's kind of what the Days of 47 parade is all about. Learning about Utah's heritage from the pioneers first entering the Salt Lake Valley 175 years ago to now. Yeah! Going to the parade is a tradition many Utah families have passed down for generations. We were so excited to come back down and be a part of things. It's one of our favorite things to do. Which is why Brizzy's grandmother, Alicia, couldn't wait to bring her grandkids to this parade to continue their family tradition. And with the pandemic, we didn't come at all. Many people felt the same way. Just to be out again, feeling like normal, watching a parade is worth celebrating. I think this year is like a lot special because you know, 2020, we didn't have the parade and last year, was, like you said, the restrictions. So I guess it was just, uh, you know, we get to be free. <laughs> <She's adopted. laughs> I'm just yeah, it was all a lot of fun. Can you wave at them? They'll wave at you. Especially when you get to see princesses. Why is there just two girls? <laughs> so many questions, but that's how you learn, right? Now, we did chat with an organizer a little bit afterwards, and he said that this parade went off about as well as could be expected. Also, many people we chatted with who spent the night, who camped out to save a good spot, they say it was worth their efforts to camp and have a good spot for this morning.